Hey, fourth question. So this is like a QA reaction scheme. So just take a look at this whole scheme. But A says for N ions A and B, right? Write ionic equations for the formation of white PPT described in the above. N ions A and B is actually here. N ion A, N ion B. Okay, so where did it came through, right? After adding dilute nitric acid, uh, we just want to confirm if effervescence is formed. So we are checking for the carbonate, right? Checking for carbonate anion. Step 2A, right? Divide the resulting mixture into two samples. Add silver nitrate and barium nitrate into the two mixture. So silver nitrate is testing for what? Silver nitrate AG plus is actually testing for your halogen. Okay, so things like uh, F minus, CR minus, BR minus, I minus, things like that. Group 7 uh, ions. And then barium nitrate, right? We are basically looking for sulfate anion because if it is present, it will form barium sulfate, which is a white PPT. Okay, so you're looking for uh, white PPT, you will mean that you're looking for chloride and then for white PPT here, you're looking for sulfate. Okay. A student noticed that the test for anion nitrate has been missed out. He suggests that after observing if there's effervescence, So for part B, right, um, he suggests that after observing if there's effervescence, the mixture should be divided in three samples to test for nitrate. Um, this will not be very logical because nitric acid, right, which we added in the first step here, contains your nitrate ion. So after you add it yourself and then you go and test for the nitrate ion, definitely you'll get a positive result, right? So it doesn't make sense. Okay, wastewater contains only aluminium and calcium cations. Aluminium and calcium cations. Draw a flow chart that will enable him to confirm identity. So the first, first test that we're going to do is to add aqueous ammonia because we are going to test for aluminium so this first test right is to test for al3 plus and then you form a white ppt which is al oh3 okay this is insoluble in excess second thing you add calcium hydroxide is to test for ea2 plus because you then form calcium hydroxide which is a white ppt insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide Hi parents and students, I'm Mr. Kwa, founder and principal tutor from Mr. Chemistry. I do these videos to help more students understand difficult chem concepts and hopefully more needy students who are not able to afford tuition, they can benefit from these videos. Please help me click that like button and share it with your friends so that more students can benefit. Thank you and see you in the next video. Bye!